If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It's so already says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and you get mashed down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com, and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon, and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is the community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. The alliances hang out on Discord. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Finn and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 tier and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy our merch. Buy our merch indeed. A child shall lead them to buy our merch. Yes, dear listener. Yes, dear listener. That's me uh, quoting our little introduction thingamajiggy because my partner in criminal activities is not here, but here I'm she is I'm here. Now. She has returned. My partner, Criminal right. Activities, has returned, dear listener. So, up next on our metal extravaganza, non-metal extravaganza, we have Delta Ray, Bottom of the River. Um, and this one, Bottom of the River, that sounds pretty creepy. Yes. Uh, that's what I was looking forward to. All right, creepy? Delta Ray, bottom of the river from the big homie DJ Metal Cat. This is his non-metal extravaganza. This is Open what he listens to. Open your mind, dear The ten percent of the time that he's not listening to metal, this is what he. This is where he goes. Open your mind, you dumb butts. Okay, Wait, here we go. Okay. Delta Ray, bottom of the river. Also, this one has the lyrics right there on the screen for you for your uh, listening pleasure. I saw you made a lyric video to to our song. That's excellent. And let's do it. Delta Ray Bottom of the River. Let's go. Hmm. Holy wow. shit! 
genre is this? What genre of music is oh, this? Oh man, I wish we would have seen the music video. There's Apparently, a music video? The, well, the music video depicts a woman. Whoa, whoa, being... whoa, 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 whoa! You gonna play it? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Hey, uh, Metal Cat, do you mind if we play the official music video? Because I also, I mean, it got seven million views and. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what happens. We ain't scared of no ghosts. Wait, yeah, but what? What did, is Metal Cat? Yeah, Metal Cat. Let me know uh, if you mind us playing the song. Okay, okay. He said, "Go ahead." Uh, plus, the song's only two minute, guys. Okay, so don't be mad. Don't be mad. It's only two minutes. Two and a half wow. minutes. Wow. Three minutes. Um, That's deep. Yeah. It, look, it, we don't we don't cut up we don't cut up the song. So uh, sometimes it gets blocked. The other thing too is that you'll have an option. So if the thing doesn't get blocked, we can go with the. Oh yeah, I'm saying? I can just cut it out. Yeah. You can just cut it out. Yeah. Um, okay, here's Delta Ray Bottom of the River again. I'm so excited to see oh, the boy. actual video. Amazon account is up and running now. We are selling our formula officially. It's amazing stuff from Europe. May in Germany. So in America. Highest standards there are. In America, the standards haven't been updated since 1980. It's super weird, like older than me. In Europe, they update safety standards basically every year. This formula is top notch, great for the stomach, great for constipation. Yeah. This is a great product. If you happen to want to purchase it and join us on our journey, then grab the link in the description. If you do and leave a review for us, send me a screenshot at vinandstory at gmail.com of your review after you have received the product. We will put your name in a hat. Song reviews are going to come out by some of the people that have left reviews. Don't forget to send us a screenshot of your review once you get the product. Now a word from our mascot dressed as a pirate, Fuji. Ah! It's a deal of a deal. Wow. Uh, I love that song. That song is uh, that song is on my playlist. <laughs> if you see me uh, jiggling with my phone, nine point nine times out of ten, it's because I'm adding the song to my playlist. I really, really like this song. I like what they did with the voices. You know, I'm I'm, I'm a lot more interested in vocals now. Now that you know you're you're uh, the primary vocalist, so actually, before I wouldn't really pay attention to the vocals. Um, 
But I love the vocals, especially in the second half of the song with the... When she was like going like high like that? Yeah, when she was going high in the background the background singers. I love background. I, th- see, that's, that's <laughs> another thing I got from Korn was Got the Life was the song that converted me to being a metalhead. But in the chorus, you know, head does the... Ha! Whatever, whatever. Which I still to this day don't know what that technique is when people are just saying it's not scat. You know, like... Scat, it's just like, blah, 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 you're making shit up. But like, ha! Or mm-hmm. when they go, whoa! Yeah. Like, I don't know what that, I don't know what, what that called. technique is called. But anyway, I love the background singing in the second half of the song. It was gangster shit. I loved it. And I also love the the name of the genre, possibly. Yeah. Southern Gothic. Yeah. That's brilliant. Because it did feel like, I think, uh, uh, Middle Earth said it too. It did feel spiritual. It felt like you won't understand this. When I was in Houston, like some of the Bayou people from like Louisiana, you know, like that deep Southern Louisiana spiritual dark voodoo stuff. Like, you ever met any of those people from? Yeah, I, I no. met. I I was on. A, I was moving this person uh, down in Houston for you. Know, I was moving this person from A to B or whatever, and. It took a year to move them? No, no, no. When I was in Houston for a year oh. on assignment in Houston, I had to move this person from Louisiana or whatever. And, like, the V could wear at the time, it was like you're basically on benches so you had to face each other. <laughs> like and, on uh, Handmaid's and, Tale? And, uh, and uh, I've looked at some pretty bad people, like, that if I said blah, 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 people say, yeah, it's a bad person. Mm-hmm. And they always do the staring thing with you like there's always like some staring contest so you know you know me i love that shit i love the game i love the psychological things so i'll just sit there the entire time and people are like do you know what i've done and blah blah I'm like yeah i don't know what you've done anyway um but this person when i was moving them like the whole as soon as they stepped in the entire energy and the it was oh just my gosh. it was just like it like she was sitting down, and she did this, like, sideways sit thing, crossed her legs, and looked, like, right at me. And I was like, nope! I got up, and I went to the opposite fucking corner. No! Nope. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Well, you've she, been around she, she with that She just brought, energy. she brought, I've never seen anything like that before. Like, that, that kind of energy. It was worse than the other one? Yeah, because the other one was just, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm flirting wow. around with shit I shouldn't flirt around. Where this one, it was like, I yo, fully embrace like this. I'm here with like 58 other people type of feeling. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't like prepared for it because I was in a certain kind of mindset. And then she showed up and I was like, holy. So it was like that kind of feeling, like that kind of spooky Louisiana What'd type she do person. when you moved? I don't know. I'd look at her the entire trip. How long was the trip? Like, my part, my uh, about five hours. My part of the situation was over. You oh, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh... Did anybody yeah. else say, yo, that woman was... Oh, yeah, we all, we all... Well, it was one of those things where we all kind of looked at each other and whatever, and we were just wanted to get out of the situation. I could just tell, like, I, you know, I know them, they know me, like, we just wanted to be out of the situation. You know what I'm saying? Because this was not, like, a psychological game she was playing. Like, this shit was... She was different. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like the other guys, it's just, it's all like, wow. you know, smoke and mirrors and they want you to be impressed with shit, but little do they know that, you know, you're, you're 10 times worse than them on, on that issue. You know what I'm I saying? See, but, I see, I see. but like that woman, who Southern Gothic is, is a perfect example. And I, I'll tell you what, I will take, I will take a New York goth. I'll take a New York Satanist. I'll take a whatever. I mean, even now, like my hands kind of like shaky. I'll take a whatever to that. Like, that's how real it was. That shit's wow. crazy. So it had that kind of feeling, and I don't know why, like, the song appealed to me so much, because it immediately made me think of this person. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And it, it, it's very, I feel very uncomfortable. Wow. Yeah, yes. yeah. Like, it was that bad. It was really, really bad. I've never seen you like this the entire time I've known you. Yeah, yeah. It was a bad situation. That lady was, was, uh, she was crazy. 
Uh, yes. Uh, okay, so that's where the song brought me. Like, that's I see, the headspace yeah. the song brought me. And I didn't even really get a chance so to see a lot of the lyrics. So it's crazy because... <laughs> because I was so freaked out by that. The first listen through, I thought it was like... Uh, so there's this country song, like, I think it's called Goodbye Earl. And basically, the guy's abusive, so two girls get together, they feed him poisonous beans and... Poisonous beans? Really? Yeah, black-eyed peas, which are actually like a bean. Every time I buy the black eyed peas, honest to goodness, honestly, <laughs> every time I buy them to put in your taco bean soup, I always think of that song and I'm like, yo, this is weird. Because yeah, so obviously I'm trying not trying to, 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 to poison No, your boy. no. I she just think it's just boy. weird because I never would have thought that I would have ever had a reason to use black eyed peas for anything. And then it come it goes in the taco bean soup. So it's just weird, like, to feed your husband black eyed peas when that had such a long long standing history with me and my my best friend at the time <laughs> anyway um so i thought it was like kind of one of those situations because when you hear like the roughing at the beginning and obviously the girl sounds like she's not doing well but the chains was a little bit weird to me and i was like yo i bet you they're they're gonna drown him which they they've chained him up they're gonna throw him and in the river I, they're gonna the drown other thing him that's crazy is i was almost certain that all the vocalists were black women <laughs> well, yeah, that's yeah. A, that's another thing. I, I was very surprised. Like or what? I, I was very surprised, too, that it was that little black, very small black, very small white girl with blonde hair. That yeah, was, was very shocking to me. And then it wasn't, like, synced very well. Uh-huh. So then I was like, well, maybe this is just like, because not, not every time there's a music video, it's like the artist. But she stayed the singer the entire time, so I'm like, it's got to be her. Yeah. Um. So yes, yeah, so the first time that's what I thought it to was. Look crazier and crazier as the thing went on. Like, yeah, at the end, everybody was video? down. Like, did you see her eyes? It was as a yes. video proceed. Like she yeah. got crazier and crazier. Um. So that that's what I thought was going on, and then um. Because it says, "Drive your son like a railroad spike into the water. Let it pull him under. Let it pull him under." Um, the wolves will chase the, you by the pale moon. boy, right? The, her son. What son? I mean, obviously, when you see the music video, it looks like this is the Salem witch trials. She's a witch. She said, the Lord's going to come for your firstborn son. His hair is on fire and his heart is burning. Oh, so she, she cursed their firstborn? The ones that were trying to Go take to her away? Go to the river where the water runs. Wash him deep where the tides are turning. And if you fall, hold my hand. So... I th doesn't her son isn't her son type kind of they're talking about her son right you didn't get that no so who do you think it's talking about when it says wash him deep where the tides are turning I don't know like I said I thought that was a, the woman's husband and she was going, she was gonna get him killed oh you're still no you're still I don't think that's the, what that was you're still Once, on the killing husband thing, no I'm okay. saying that's what I thought that it was it's probably the last and episode, then guys. stop it that's what I thought it was and then I saw the music video and I'm like this is a Salem witch trial so I don't I haven't like worked out the lyrics after this this the change of uh the the change of pace there I I don't know because I don't know if that's them talking to her. Or her talking or her to talking him. to them. You're going to kill me, but then the but Lord's going to come your for your firstborn. Your son's going to drown or whatever. Yeah. And like, the, so go to the river where the water runs, wash him deep where the tides are turning. Like that whole, like, it kind of sounds like they're about to baptize the, the person. Yeah. Well, it says, oh, baby, it's a long way down, a long way down. The wolves will chase you by the pale moonlight, drunk and driven by a devil's hunger. Yeah. Drive your son like a railroad spike into the water. Let him pull him under. Don't you lift him. Let him drown alive. Let that fever make the water rise. But I'm not then, sure. No, I'm not but... sure if that, that's, this is not a... A metaphor for something else. Go ahead. What were you saying? Yeah, because you got to keep reading. It says, let that fever make the water rise and let the river run dry. And I said, hold my hand, oh baby, it's a long way down to the bottom of the river. Hold my hand. Maybe so it does kind of sound like he's getting drowned with her. Yeah, like her fate is inextricably tied. Their, their fate is inextricably tied. It could be her kid and they're showing up to kill her. And then she's going to use her witchy powers to flood the river and kill everybody. 
see it says let that fever make the water rise mm -hmm. and then let the river run dry which i'm assuming creates a flood right oh baby it's a long way down to the bottom of the river maybe it's like supposed to just create a flood and kill them all kill everybody mm -hmm. um well i mean at the end of the video everybody was dead yeah everybody dies although she doesn't die i was but gonna say except for she her she seems to be in control of everything in the video um but you know I think about this a lot, you know, and I think about people talk about the good old days and I always joke and I always say, ah, it wasn't good old days for me because it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? But then I think to myself, I don't think you would have had a lot of fun back then either. I was thinking of that when this you, was you they And I thought you, about your situation they too. They would have set and you on like, fire yeah. immediately, bro. Mm -hmm. Unless unless you married some rich person or something. When I saw that other lady dragging her out, yeah. I'm like, yep, yeah, that's yeah, about yeah. the size of it. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got Aunt Lydia. Dragging yeah. out this blonde girl. Yeah, yeah. With I was red thinking lips. to myself, like, well, it wasn't really a good time for women either. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was yeah. pretty, pretty crazy, especially beautiful women. And, 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 like, there was there were hints of, of assault here a little bit in my mind when they were talking about the wolves in the moonlight because the wolves were drunk. So it's like, yeah. That seems to be a personification. It's a long way down. The wolves will chase you by the pale moonlight, drunk and driven by a devil's hunger. Which my theory about a lot of the Salem witch stuff was men's ultimate projection of their inability to manage their sexuality mm -hmm. in, in the context of, of religion, where you have a lot of rules and a lot of laws, but you don't have a lot of understanding of how grace works. You know, that's mm -hmm. why, you know... I don't spend a lot of time talking about the rules with the kids, especially when it comes to theology. Most of the time, I'm probably too much on this side. Most of the time I talk about God's graciousness and, and trusting in God's graciousness to change you into a better person instead of really talking about the rules to change you into a better person. Mm -hmm. Because religion becomes extremely toxic when it's rule oriented because nobody can keep them perfectly. So if you have, and you know, the witch trials came out of a puritanical seats in Laban. So the Puritans were even more hyper-focused than normal on the rules. Mm -hmm. And and they would do this thing where at the end of every day, you were encouraged to take an inventory of yourself and how good you did that day and how closely you could follow the rules. Did they have slaves? Yeah, of course. Yeah, see, that's the thing that I feel about rules I mean, I, I've lived the majority of my life guided and dictated by rules. Yeah. And it what happens is it ends up leaving these massive blind spots that you don't see because you follow the other rules so well that you believe yourself to be a certain type of person or that you've, you know, I, I guess attained a certain level of perfection while there's like these obvious and horribly gaping where if you, if you focus on like the song before where he talked about love... Mm -hmm. You know, if you focus on love, then that, that changes things because if the rule is love, then you don't have to have all the mini rules to, to tell you how to act or to be or to treat people. Um, if you can just ask yourself, well, was that loving? No, it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Like it kind of simplifies things. But if you have a, a list of rules, you can follow those rules. You can be like the Puritans and check yourself every night, but have slaves in the in the back room, well, you well, know? Well, what it does is it creates a sort of uh, pathology, particularly with sexuality with those people. Because if you are doing this daily inventory every day as to where you measure up, and Jesus says, don't look at a woman with lust, and there is a particular woman who's, who's power over you, you cannot break. Yeah. Because you don't combine your rule keeping with grace, now somebody has to go. You have to go, or she has to go. Well, the Bible says you should pluck your own eyes out. Well, of course, but he ain't gonna do that. Right. So he's gonna he's gonna project all of his uh, sexual faults or whatever, whatever, onto her. That's my theory about what happened with the witch trials. You project all that, and that's why women participated because. Mm -hmm. It was, was generally a very, very and, beautiful yeah. woman, very jealous. And it's not because you are not attractive to your husband. It's not because that woman looks better in the cloak than you. No, it's because she's got some supernatural pull over him. So she's going to participate in that too. And so 
that's why when I heard, you know, when they were talking about the wolves at night with a devilish hunger and that they were drunk, I'm like, uh-huh. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, it's it's a, it's a pretty crazy thing. It's a little bit complex and a little bit Freudian, but I, I think that there's a lot of that going on. This song is a is a 9.8 for me. 9.6 for minimum me. Minimum a 9.8 if it ends up on my playlist. But this is a playlist song. Holy shizzle whizzle. I really like this song. I hope this band gets more uh, requests because that's the other thing it's like when I listen to a song like that hits a playlist I'm like damn I hope other people like well, what year do you think this came out uh, probably recent five years five years ago 2012 that wasn't five years ago that was about ten, ten years, years off, ago probably that's ten years ago alright there you all did listen to we still have more we still have more it's on the way soon fit out sorry out gone